is the 4th of April 2014, it's a Selenco. The purpose of this video is to be able to show Aubrey Villa since it's had its uh, alterations made to it. Here's Aubrey Villa. Um, it's five letting bedrooms and I shall walk through and do a walk round. One day I shall get a more professional uh, video done. It's got a perfect position on the beach here at Senna. Surfing beach quite quiet today. It'll be busy in the next few days because the Easter holiday is upon us. Oh, this is Aubrey Villa. Now this is the lounge, perfectly obvious. Uh, wood burner in the corner, uh, TV and uh, sky and Blu-ray and what have you. Not sure whether it, it picks up the uh, view but obviously you can see straight out onto the bay here at Senna. Uh, the lounge is large, L-shaped, um, probably plenty of seating uh, here and elsewhere around the house for everybody. It has uh, strange lights and then when I switch them on you may see them flickering colour to colour. I've just switched one on, there are a multitude of options on how you have the lights. Uh, but when we installed them people liked them so we've left them in. I'm going to walk through now to the dining room. You see a big picture in the background, That's just, uh, you'll see Aubrey Villa in the centre of that picture. Uh, and that actually is the uh, sea. That picture was taken in 2008 but we often have uh, huge seas here. It doesn't cause any damage or problem at the house but a uh, spectacular to view. The sea again was looking straight out onto the bay. I'll just turn around. The, the dining room is now dining kitchen arrangement. The table will sit oh, 14, 16, that kind of number without too much problem. It's uh, about a 12 foot long table. Uh, the Arga here is oil operated. They're relatively easy to use. Um, winter is its uh, primary use but uh, I guess folks could use it other times of the year. And then there's a fully a fully fitted out kitchen with all the uh, things you'd expect in a kitchen these days. And an orange waste disposal bag. I'm not exactly, exactly sure why that's there, but anyway, that's uh, recycling is a big thing down here in Cornwall. But it's got all the machinery you'd expect, and probably one or two bits you might not expect. That's a wine cooler. And so uh, if somebody likes to get a bottle of cold wine, then obviously there's an easy way of, of keeping it cold. I'm going to wander back through the lounge. Um, but let's see, you'll see there's an enclosed courtyard there. I'll come to that in a few minutes. I probably ought to put the camera on stop, but not having the technical skills, I shall just continue on and, uh, and do the video. It looks like folks might be arriving actually, so I shall speak to those folks in a, in a moment or two. This is a utility in downstairs loop. Um, Lots of folks had asked us for a downstairs loo, actually it's become very convenient and it's what we use uh, most of the time now. It's looking out to the courtyard and back to the kitchen again. It's a large double cupboard here for cloakroom. And then this is a um, bedroom that's been made suitable for people in wheelchairs and uh, other additional needs. It's it's got wider doors than is the norm. 
um, has a double bed in it, um, but it's so it's wheelchair accessible. TV, there's TVs in all the bedrooms, and there's a wet room adjacent to this room. It has the things again um, to cater for guests with additional need to a taller toilet and things of that sort, and the and the grab rails to prevent accidents. I shall now head upstairs. It's all um, safety conscious with the uh, the rails in to support you as you go up. Then I'll go to the family bedroom first. This is the family bedroom again, it looks out to the front. Uh, we've, it has a king size bed and a pair of bunk beds. Again, the flat screen TVs and, and plenty of cupboard space and, and a view out to the bay, which is what Sennon's all about. Uh, the family bedroom also has its own bathroom. All the bedrooms have got their own bathrooms, but this one has a full bath and a, a shower over the bath and, and the, the other things you would expect. A couple of cupboards along the hallway is where we keep the uh, caretaker's items, so they're not really particularly relevant. I'll head to the, to the next bedroom. This is a twin. Uh, we have the bed to push together. I guess uh, folks can separate them if they prefer that way. Again, there's um, plenty of uh, wardrobe capacity. I don't think I'm supposed to tweak the camera like that, but uh, anyway, again, if I zoom out, you can see just what you look out to here at Senate. Again, a TV. I think uh, most of the small TVs have got a DVD built into them, and a, a walk-in wet room. Uh, and again, that's uh, sitting at the front of the house with a loo and wash hand basin, what have you. Go to the next bedroom. This is a double. Uh, I guess this is our favourite room because this is the one we tend to use. Don't know why we always have. Again, a TV and uh, a view out into the lovely bay here at Senna. And if you look back, uh, there's the entrance door as well, but there's also the door to this particular room's ensuite bathroom. You may be catching glimpses of me in the uh, mirror, not intended. But anyway, there's a walk-in shower again. Uh, all the, ba all the uh, bathrooms have got towel rails, heated towel rails. And this one has a, a um, full tub. It's also got a duck there and, and some uh, disinfectant, I guess. So that's four of the bedrooms. And here's the fifth. This is uh, an extension to the house that wasn't here in the past. It's a twin bedroom uh, and we've decided that this is the best location for the cot. Um, there are alternative rooms where the cot can be placed. I've just turned the light on for the ensuite. Again, it's uh, the walk-in shower um, ensuite. Um, you'll hear the fan in the background perhaps, all of the bathrooms have those, I think it's something to do with the, the way these things work, uh, regulations and things these days. You'll see that this bedroom has its own balcony and I shall go out onto the balcony, you'll see lots of sun here, it's a bit of a sun trap. But this is the balcony. Um, Gives additional seated space at the rear of the house, nicely enclosed, very good for sunbathing. 
and there is another table there for additional uh, additional seating. You'll also see some steps to an upper balcony. We've um, had a, a, an extension into the roof of the house and we've decided to keep the top part of the house for our own use only. It's worked out well for us in that uh, it means when we're here uh, and we plan to travel a lot but when we're here we can stay in the top and guests can still use the main, main body of the house uh, and in due time later this year we're going to separate the entrance way even more than it's currently separated. I'm on the top courtyard at the moment and there is a lower courtyard here again you'll see there's a big gate at the side it's enclosed and um, there's seating area down the down the front here in the corner there is an oil tank it's the source of central heating for the house and uh, fueling the arga that's all going to get screened later on in the year i think uh, a granite wall will conceal that but it's not too unsightly but it's certainly very functional and very important uh, for keeping the house warm so that's uh, Aubrey Villa it's in a pretty perfect place on the seafront at Selling Cove people have stayed here for their holidays for many years uh, and um, it tends to be a place where people come back year after year after year and we hope that can continue certainly for as long as we decide that we're going to keep letting, letting it and travelling my wife's just appearing in the picture I don't think she particularly wanted to but uh, there we have it that's the video uh, of Aubrey Villa uh, we hope you like uh, the video and we hope you enjoy your stay should you choose to come and stay here